If you really want to speed up your website's load time, but you don't understand all this technical jargon and you don't want to spend all the time learning it, this is really going to help. Today I want to share with you three things that you can do to drastically improve your page speed score and have this be a more permanent solution for you. I was recently working on a website that was loading in about five to six seconds on average, which is actually really, really slow. Google recommends that your pages load in under two seconds. And after getting into this site, I saw a number of things that they were attempting to do that just were not making a difference really at all. So today I want to share with you those three things that I did that now have this site fully loaded in one second. It is interactive in 0.8 seconds. So it is significantly, significantly faster. And because of this, we started to see an immediate increase in revenue. Well, because people are starting to actually wait for the site to load they are sticking around so that is helping and as we have continued to monitor this we are starting to see the impact that this has made not only in the traffic coming in but also seeing rankings start to increase as well which is really really nice the first thing we did was to actually redesign the site using a really fast theme. Some themes out there are actually designed for speed and performance. And there's a lot of great themes out there. A number of them have page builders, which make it really, really easy to be able to build a website without having to code at all. The problem is those tend to slow down your site. So what do you do if you don't want to have to code a website from scratch? And at the same time, you want to make sure that your site loads really quickly. Well, you use Generate Press. This theme uses blocks to help you design a website, and they even have a site library of designs that you can import, all while still keeping your website loading fast. Now I've done a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to build a website using the Generate Press theme, and I'll link to that below. Now, the second thing that we did was to install a caching plugin. We used WP Rocket. Now WP Rocket, covers most of what you'll need to speed up your site speed and performance without needing to have a bunch of technical skills. So if you don't know terms like gzip compression, page cache, cache preloading, and so on, you're gonna want to use this. Now this is a premium plugin and there are some free alternatives out there, although I have not found them to be as easy or really as powerful as this is, so it is definitely worth it. Now I'll be putting together a tutorial to show you the exact settings that I used in WP Rocket, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And once it is available, I'll also link to that down below. Now for the third and final thing that we did, if you feel like you have been trying everything and nothing seems to really make enough difference to really get your site speed to where you want it to be, it's very likely you're hosting, especially if you are using that cheap shared hosting. That's likely what's keeping your site from performing as well as it could. So if you just wanna do it right and you don't wanna to have to worry about switching hosting again, then use Cloudways. Now I'm also working on a tutorial to show you my exact setup because this is a little bit different than just signing up for one of those shared hosting providers so you know exactly how to do this in order to get the right speed. So stay tuned for that as well and also include a link to that below as soon as it's ready. Now these are the three core things that you can do that are going to make the biggest difference for your site. But I also want to mention a few other things that you can do, especially when it comes to images because images can really slow down how quickly your site pages are loading. And I see this time and time again. The first thing you can do is to delete unused images. You want to take a backup before you do this, especially so you make sure that you have all of your images there. But you can use a plugin like Media Cleaner or Updraft Plus, which is going to go into your media library. It's going to look for any of the images that are not being used on your website. It's going to allow you to review those and then you can delete the ones that are not in use. Now you can also go into your media library, go to unattached and look for the images that are not used on pages and posts. Now, in my experience in doing this, I still do find some images that are used on some of the posts. So this is something you may have to comb through manually, depending on the number of images on your website. Now, another thing you want to do is eliminate duplicate images in WordPress. For this, you want to go to your settings, media, and then you want to change the sizes to zero so that it does not create any duplicate images of the ones that you are uploading. And when uploading images to your website, 
Try to use a JPEG instead of a PNG file whenever possible because the JPEG is going to take up a lot less room and really the only time you actually need a PNG file on your website is if you need the image to have a transparent background. Now, another thing that we have not implemented just yet, but are considering doing to see if we can speed up the site just a little bit more, especially because this site actually has a lot of images, is to use a CDN. Now, there are free CDNs like Cloudflare, for instance, but that actually does not include image optimization, so it's really not going to do much for the site unless we upgrade to the premium version. So we are looking at probably using Rocket CDN, but we are comparing a couple of CDNs right now now and seeing what is going to have the biggest impact. So I will report back on that. But that's about all I have for you when it comes to speeding up your website. But again, just these first few recommendations can really make a huge difference. So when you go and use the setup for your own site, let me know the difference that you see down in the comments below. I really hope that this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.